Hey everyone, welcome to this weekly Sidero Astrology Forecast for the week of May 3rd through the 9th of 2021. All right, so this week, quite easy astrologically. Uh, we do have some uh, challenges in the earlier part of the week we'll talk about, but it is just good to come into this week maybe challenging ourselves. Uh, the reason is, is we will be in the third quarter phase of the lunar cycle, which is good to really ground any insights we've had from the full moon a week ago. A week ago, coming into this week, we've had the uh, this insight, maybe the full moon of some cultivation, some perspective shifts that now we can really start to challenge ourselves with. And so the challenging aspect we have around Monday is that the sun is going to be squaring up to restrictive Saturn and the moon will be in Capricorn. So it is just good around the Monday time to maybe take care of maybe some responsibilities, uh, maybe be a bit patient with some things and really, you know, see the long road and that uh, persevering road, I think is great. Uh, but other than this, um, on Monday as well, we do have Mercury squaring Jupiter, where we could be feeling a bit expansive mentally. Could be good to ground that though. Um, around Thursday, we have Venus trining Pluto, maybe easy to connect deeply with our values and our relationships. And then over Saturday, we have that, uh, um, Venus, uh, which is relationships and values, squaring up to Jupiter, which although is a square, is with expansive Jupiter, and both of these being benefics, um, does make it maybe a bit quite harmonious. But we do want to, of course, ground that. So anything that is about grounded enjoyment, grounded values, grounding maybe some relationship energy, um, because we might be feeling a bit expansive with it, can make it nice and balanced. All right, so let's go and take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. Alrighty, so here's the sky for this week. We're going to look at this for each day of the week, starting first with Monday, May 3rd. And as you can see here, we are using the visible sky, which is very different from mainstream astrology. If you are new to this channel, definitely check out that link down below for more information because the signs do change from mainstream astrology with this system. All right, so let's go and do a bit of a recap here. We are in the third quarter phase of the lunar cycle. The sun and moon are squaring each other coming into this week, uh, which means that exactly a week ago coming into this week, uh, we did have that full moon. And so it's usually a time of the harvest or at least coming to some insights and awareness that now we may really want to ground and implement. So Monday, Tuesday time with the moon here, I think it's great for anything that does require some self-discipline, some responsibility, uh, maybe a bit of patience, you know, thinking long term and doing the grounded thing, maybe the responsible thing um, could be very good those couple days. Uh, but all in all, this uh, this uh, recap, this weekly energy, uh, we do have the sun still in fiery Aries. So I think it's great to still be focused on taking initiative in our life and maybe some of that assertiveness or directness that is um, how we're focused and probably how we're expressing ourselves collectively. Uh, coming into the week, Venus will be shifting into resourceful and grounded Taurus where she's in dignity, where she loves to be. So this is uh, starting about a month of this uh, enjoyment of maybe some, some more of the um, grounding elements of life, like maybe the sensual life, maybe a good meal, maybe some relaxation, maybe connecting to nature, right? And more of this uh, sort of enjoyment of taking things slowly and steadily, right? Stopping to smell the roses, essentially. We've already been thinking this way with Mercury since last week, so our minds are qu quite grounded and probably good to, you know, take that steady and grounded approach to not only learning, gaining information, but also communication as well. But there is a bit of fire behind our communication because Mars, the planet of directness and fiery energy, is in um, practical and communicative Gemini. So the way we're taking action right now is probably through wanting to learn, wanting to gain the information, and in our communications, we can be quite direct and quite assertive collectively. So there's a bit of fire behind the mind. There's a bit of fire to learn, to gain information and share it and communicate. And so um, a bit of uh, earth and fire is really the collective mix at the moment with fiery Aries, a lot of grounding Taurus and Mars in Gemini. All right, so let's go and take a look at Monday specifically. Uh, like I said, third quarter phase, so good to challenge ourselves this phase of the cycle. Uh, we do have the sun squaring up to Saturn here coming into Monday um, and around Monday here. So Saturn is all about seeing the long road, so anything that does require patience and persistence and discipline 
you know, is a very good way of working with this energy, both Monday and Tuesday coming into the week. But we do have Mercury contacting uh, expansive Jupiter in a square. So usually aspects, even, even challenging ones to Jupiter, tend to come across as quite benefic. But of course, we do want to ground it because all squares do deal with either an over or under emphasis. And so Jupiter does have this tendency to maybe with Mercury uh, be a bit optimistic thinking, maybe a bit inspired, maybe hopeful, which is great. Um, but then the pendulum, if we go too far into that direction, the pendulum might swing the other way and then we might be pessimistic or not see the inspirations or potentials. So do know that they are there and it's good to ground it. Again, grounding really is the theme these first couple days of the week, maybe even this whole week in general but um, mainly because we want to balance out this Jupiter energy so our minds aren't going to any over or under extremes with um, you know, inspiration or potentials or anything like this, but constructively recognizing that opportunities are coming to our sphere of awareness and to act on them and ground them, maybe be patient with them and see the long road with some of that Capricorn Saturn energy it could be a great way of working with these uh, first couple days of the week. We'll still have the moon in Capricorn on Tuesday as well. And then once we do start to get into the Wednesday time period, the moon will be shifting into um, progressive Aquarius. So this um, so this uh, Wednesday, Thursday time period, very good for essentially being a bit future oriented. Uh, could be good for maybe thinking about the future for ourselves or collectively and maybe getting involved with some collective things like groups, friends, community, maybe online stuff could be great this uh, Wednesday, Thursday time period. But once we do get to Thursday, we do have a harmonious aspect between Venus, the planet of relationships and values, and a good harmony with deep, um, you know, the ruler of the underworld, Pluto. So this can usually mean um, easy to connect deeply in relationships, uh, maybe to, you know, connect by trust, by intimacy, by depth, uh, but all in all, just valuing the deeper elements of life. So even outside of relationships, just enjoying these deeper things. Maybe it's research, maybe it's uncovering things, maybe it's just, you know, connecting to life on a deeper level. So we se seem to usually see the value of the depth, value of the truth, value of the deeper connection when Venus is trining Pluto, and it can make those kinds of things quite supportive and quite harmonious. All right, so once we do get into the weekend here around Friday, uh, the, the um, very late Friday, the moon will start to shift into watery Pisces. And so this will be starting to finish up the lunar cycle. Um, we will be coming up to the new moon early next week. And so it's starting to finalize things, especially with the moon in Pisces this, this uh, weekend here. So good to start to complete, uh, tie up loose ends, finalize, and start to get into some of that receptive energy of Pisces. The ending phase of the cycle is always good for a more spiritual approach, but especially when the moon's in Pisces. So um, the weekend, anything that does require a bit of maybe uh, peacefulness, uh, spiritual peacefulness, solitary energy, maybe doing things that are more creative or more internal or more intuitive, um, and just all in all being willing to go more with the flow. This is kind of a recap of what the last lunar cycle was, and you could even say the last two lunar cycles were about, which was very much about having to go with the flow and finding a little bit more sp spiritual peace in our lives. So great weekend for that sort of thing. Uh, but we do have Venus squaring up to Jupiter here around the Saturday time period. So again, values and relationships squaring up to expansive Jupiter, which can have a bit of that pendulum swing. So good to be, again, open-minded, optimistic, and see our values. This could be about enjoyments, especially with Venus and Taurus. So good to ground things usually with these two benefics, we want to make sure we're not being overindulgent or, again, over um, enthusiastic or going to any you know extremes with that, but enjoying things in a grounded way, enjoying relationships in a way that's grounded, right, aware of it, enjoying the central life, the good meal, food, um, enjoyments of life, luxury in grounded ways, because, again, there can be a bit of that pendulum swing and Jupiter can sometimes expand whatever he contacts. But with intention, right, grounded enjoyment, grounded connection could be an excellent weekend for this. Um, and uh, yeah, and quite tranquil and peaceful if we make it so, uh, if we do have that willingness to kind of be receptive with that moon in Pisces. All right, everyone. So that is the week in a nutshell. Most important thing here is I would say it's um, very much a, a week of squares with Jupiter. So grounding some of that uh, inspiration and potentials and 
you know, optimism and stuff um, constructively. The early part of the week does have a bit of that square with a Saturn Capricorn. So Monday in particular, just good to come into the week with some responsibilities. Um, and then midweek, maybe enjoying some of that depth, some of that deeper connection there with that uh, Venus trending up to Pluto as we do end this current lunar cycle and gear for a new beginning early next week. All right, so have a great week, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click that like button if you haven't yet. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you all next week for the next Astrology Forecast. Take care.